Hi, in today's video I will present you 5 main differences between automatic and manual transmissions. So if you're planning to purchase a car and you haven't decided yet what kind of transmission you want, then you should be watching this video. I would like to start with complexity. Without a doubt, automatic transmissions are longer, heavier, more complex, they have a lot of sensors, even a separate TCM or a transmission control module which is pretty much the same as the ECU for the engine. The TCM needs to permanently communicate with the ECU. If communication fails, oops, the engine shuts down suddenly. In terms of performance, I could talk all day long, but I'll keep it short. Torque converted automatics are the slowest and have the highest fuel consumption of all. They are the most comfortable and they're reliable, but in terms of performance, they suck. Too slow for my taste. CVTs are generally used in Japanese cars, Honda, Lexus, but even Audi used a CVT, the so-called Multitronic transmission. They're great because they always stay where the engine has the maximum power, anywhere from 4 to 6 thousand RPM. Well, they're noisy and annoying in my opinion, but they're really reliable. SMG or sequential manual gearboxes were used in the BMW M3, M5 and M6. They were basically assisted manuals, which were brutal. The system was the perfect combination between a manual and an automatic, fast and brutal. DCTs or dual clutch transmissions are really popular nowadays. They are used starting with budget cars such as the Volkswagen Polo or Golf, up to the Lamborghini Huracan, the all new BMW M models and even in the Bugatti units. First off, a brand new car with an automatic transmission is from $2,000 to $10,000 more expensive than the manual version. When it comes to maintenance, automatics are much more expensive. You need to change the transmission fluid from time to time and it's quite expensive. A friend of mine went with his BMW X3 from 2010 to a BMW dealer and they wanted $650 to replace the transmission fluid. That's basically the cost of one clutch and a few transmission fluid replacements in a manual transmission. If I would have the money, I would buy both. Each has its own purpose. Sometimes I feel so lazy to shift gears, I would really need an automatic on a long journey. It's comfy, I can't argue with that, but when I have those moments when I want to go fast, to go wild, to shift brutally, I would just want a manual M3 with 400 horsepower to skid those tires. In busy cities such as London, New York, an automatic is a must. But again, if I had the money, I would still buy a manual for the weekend. Maybe it's just my opinion. And the most important of all, you have full control. Okay, maybe this sounds odd to you, but I really know what it feels like to be in full control. First off, my boss's car, a Mercedes C250 7G Tronic automatic with a twin turbo diesel engine, suffered something fatal. The turbines went on oil and guess what? You can't force shut down the engine in an automatic transmission. You basically need to wait until engine failure occurs. Look what happened to his engine. In a manual transmission, if this happens, you press the clutch, throw the shifter in fifth gear, press the brake and release the clutch, and that's a forced engine shutdown. You are unable to do that in a turbocharged automatic car, so sorry. You also can't start from standstill like this. If I would buy the same A3 with an automatic from 0 to 50 km per hour, it wouldn't stand a chance. So if you're a great passionate driver, a manual transmission gives you full control. And something a little extra. Well, I have to admit, you can't use a manual transmission in a 1000 horsepower car like the Bugatti Veyron or Chiron. And you can't accelerate in 2.5 seconds or less with a manual transmission. You need a high performance automatic transmission for that. But knowing that most people can't afford a 2.5 second car worth over 1 million dollars, I think a 5 second car worth 40 thousand dollars with a manual transmission is more than enough. So that being said, let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, leave them down below and as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.